This is Argent Don 55, and I'm going to show you how to move around inside of Daz Studio 4. So first you have the cube which orbits around your object. So you click on it around and you can also click besides just holding and click the different views you want. And the thing about the cube is it orbits and it doesn't pivot so when you're going through like buildings and you want to turn I'll look around the corner inside your view it will most of the time launch you out through the invisible wall so that is kind of annoying and then right to the right of that is the orbit button rotate you around the object then you have the button that moves you up on the Y axis and to the left and to the right. Then there's the zoom right below that. Just click on it, roll in and scroll out. Then there's the roller in the middle of the mouse which roll in and roll out, zoom in and zoom out. And then right below that is a button that will center you on the object you have selected. So I'll select the helicopter pad back there and I will click this square and it launches me up to the helicopter pad. So likewise if I do it to this camera it will launch me right in to where the camera is at and it saves a lot of time moving around and scrolling trying to get to your object. And there's also a 3D mouse inside of Daz Studio. Or, not inside of. There's also a 3D mouse you can get that is compatible with Daz Studio. There's two of them. I have the 3D Connexicon, Connexion. And that's nice because I have it on rotate camera, not orbit camera. So I can make direct turns and it just saves a lot of time. I like it for Daz Studio. And then there's this other 3D mouse which I don't know about. Um, it's different. You can use them both because one is like a right hand mouse and one's a left hand mouse. Because so I looked at it and they're all about $100 though. So it's if you, eh, it's, just, it's nice but you don't need it. 